episode is rolling up to Harbor Freight right now. Um, hopefully, they have it in stock. I don't see why they should not. So, let's see. So, I got this one over here, 159. Looks pretty heavy duty, but um, I'll try and use this one and see if I can get away with it. So, 100 bucks plus tax. Uh, just cut the straps and yeah. That instruction manuals seems like it's somewhat already put together. Oh, like I gotta put on the caster wheels. That's about it. Thank goodness. So it's pretty much fully put together except the caster wheels. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that up and install it. Yeah, it works pretty good well the swivel is pretty good and I already tested it going up and down so right here is just a half drive you just stick it in there and turn it I'm just gonna use my impact and uh, help me raise it up so got a transmission on now so I'm gonna try and put it under there but the only thing I think I might have an issue with is the height of the jack stands because I hope I have enough clearance. If not, I'm going to have to figure out a way how to get the car up a little bit higher so I can get the transmission under there and then bring it back down. So most likely I'm going to use this jack, jack up that front right there. I'm going to put some like piece of wood on top to give it more clearance so it can lift higher and then push it underneath. So I'm going to try and see if I can push it underneath there now without having to do that. But that'll be my fallback plan. I got it underneath the car now. So now comes the interesting part. I'm gonna go ahead and try to jack it up and seat it in onto the seat it onto the um, engine. So hopefully this part goes pretty smoothly so that I could just continue and go ahead and just put the front together and yeah, I could put the car down and put the fluids in and we'll be good to go. Okay, so transmission is finally in. I uh, just have a few more bolts to put in and under here just put the exhaust up and yeah i'm gonna use the transmission jack to help me um line everything up to the downpipes so yeah and then get the back end um those mounts mount them up and i'll be done underneath the car so tomorrow i could go ahead and start putting the front clip on right here and yeah let's put the intake manifold on and we should be good to go so i have the car pretty much assembled the wiring is done and all i have to do really is just put the bumper back on and the hood and fill it with fluids so i left it on the charger last night so that it could go ahead and charge up the battery so that because before i put it in the garage it's been sitting for like a couple months so the battery i know is definitely low so it's I plugged it up and everything lights and stuff turned on so that's a good thing <laughs> so yeah all i'm gonna go ahead and do now is uh add some oil add coolant and fill up the power steering line and bleed it out so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then i could go ahead and try and start it so i generally put some of the water in first before i even put the coolant because that's a whole lot more expensive to buy if i need to get more Especially if there's a leak. So apparently there was a leak and I forgot to put this line from the transmission um, cooler to the radiator um, back on. So I'm just putting it back on now and then I could start filling this back up and then finish tightening that screw. Okay, so let's try this again. So hopefully no leaks. Looks dry, nothing's dropping. All right, I'm like we're good to go. So just add this in and then add in the BMW coolant next.
and this is what I like to see the mark is up so no leaks so cooling is taken care of actually no it's not taken care of yet I still gotta bleed the system but I'm not gonna do that until I after I'm done putting the oil in and the power steering fluid put the power steering fluid in so now gotta go inside the car and get this thing turned turn the steering wheel get the air out the system like that like the thing is not on the ground it would have been much more harder to do right now but straight should have went down a bit and it did so I'm gonna go ahead and add some more okay so Power steering is in, oil is in, coolant is in. Uh, the only thing is, I need to get a new filter for that. The other one got damaged, so I can't even put it on there. And I'm gonna go for the first start. So it should start up. <laughs> I was testing something on that other car and I took apart the dash start button. Let me put that back together. <laughs> okay, so take two. I started. No start. So found the issue. It was uh this plug right here, it wasn't tight enough down. So I had to take the whole transmission support out and Push it in and then use like a flathead and push down this way to get it to lock in tightly. So when I was um when I hooked up the scan tool to the computer, not the computer, the car, uh it pretty much told me there was like some transmission issue codes and it couldn't communicate with it. So I'm like, the only part that I had a hard time putting on was this and it wasn't at tight quarters and I didn't remove this. So I assume it would have this part right here. Alright, so let's go ahead and try this again. So she's done right now. Uh, took her for a quick test drive and ran pretty good. So I had to fill it back up with some coolant and I bled the system so uh, everything is looking pretty good so all I'm going to do now is just go ahead and um, pretty much wash it because it's dirty as heck especially grease spots and stuff like that so yeah I'm happy that it's running right now. <laughs> 